Let's fire up three things to know here, and you can see lake effect snow tonight. The main areas, though, for lake effect snow will be across the Copper Country, the Keweenaw Peninsula, and also in areas east of Marquette along and north of M28. If you don't get the lake effect snow, you do get the colder temperatures for tonight. And in fact, some inland areas west of Marquette could even go into the single digits. And then more snow returns on Tuesday, and this is kind of going to be the trend here as we go through the rest of the week. We will have snow chances between now and towards the New Year's holiday. So as we look at future weather here as we go through the rest of the night tonight, there's your snow that's going to continue as we go through the rest of the night in the Copper Country and then mainly as, and then as you go into the eastern UP, mainly along and north of M28. Tomorrow morning though, late morning, you can see a good deal of cloud cover and that's going to continue into the afternoon. Also moving in tomorrow afternoon will be some snow and then tomorrow night as you can see here with future weather it's another round of snow across the UP and that snow will continue in some parts of the UP into tomorrow afternoon and then or Wednesday afternoon, excuse me. And then as we get into Wednesday evening, it is turning colder and we will have some lake effect snow. As for snowfall the rest of the night, we're not looking at much in a way of additional accumulation. We are looking at maybe one to three inches across the Keweenaw Peninsula, maybe another inch in Munising. But as our next round of UP wide snow moves on in, you can see here numbers adding on up once again. But I think this round of snow here upcoming tomorrow late afternoon into tomorrow night, generally one to three inches of snow. Temperatures here, I'll show you our community forecast here in just a bit, but I wanna show you the trend in temperatures. There's your cold temperatures tonight, especially across the interior west, and then tomorrow temperatures in the 20s and 30s, but watch what happens Wednesday. I just wanna show you this because Wednesday, Temperatures for highs, our high temperatures for Wednesday, will be in the morning. Watch what happens as we get into the afternoon. We're looking at temperatures falling back into the teens and 20s. Here's our community forecast for the Copper Country tonight. We are going to have lake effect snow. 23 tonight, Copper Harbor, 20 for Houghton, 19 Lonsenberga, and 18 for Houghton. Across the interior west tonight, we'll see temperatures that will be in the single digits for Ironwood and Iron River, 10 for Crystal Falls, 11 for Iron Mountain. For the South Central UP, 14 for Powers tonight, 17 Rapid River, 22 for Manistique. Into the eastern UP, some lake effect snow hangs on here. 19 Cine and Germfest, 19 for Newberry, 23 Grand Marais, 22 for Munising. And then around Marquette County, 20 tonight along the Marquette Lakeshore, 14 those you had inland towards Gwyn, Ishpeming, and Nagani. For Marquette itself tonight, 19, and then we're looking at 28 for tomorrow. 28 for a high on Wednesday, but it will be turning much colder in the afternoon. And then it's cold as we wrap up 2021 and head into 2022. And then we have a snow chance on New Year's Day. For Escanaba and Gladstone tonight, 17. We'll get a little bit of clearing once the snow moves on out. And then some afternoon and night snow for tomorrow, high of 32. 33 on Wednesday, but turning colder as we get into the afternoon. A snow chance at night on Thursday. And then cold winter-like Friday and then into the New Year's Day holiday.